What's going on everybody? Sigourney Jackson here with another episode of Hoop Politics. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay up to date on everything that is Hoop Politics. Once again, we are back with another highlight breakdown. And this one is another special player, Leland Echols from the College of Southern Maryland, sophomore Juco guard, six foot six, just finished his last year, averaging 17 points, eight rebounds a game, shooting 46% from the field and 31% from the three-point line. Leland is a long athletic and very skilled basketball player is able to be a three level score and we're gonna really break down what it is that makes him such a great basketball player and what he has to do to put himself in a better situation to be a high level college basketball player and possibly a pro so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it okay miss the hoop athleticism though drive finish and one it's a good bucket at six foot six being able to get to the rim slash like that okay you're gonna show the free throws too Good jump shot, good, good, good fluid motion. See what you got. I ain't gonna lie, I thought you had made that one. That's actually a really good move. That just shows skill. Even when you're missing, it's always good to sometimes show a couple of your misses in a highlight tape because it shows the skill, it shows the attempt. It gives coaches a better insight to maybe how athletic you are, how much touch you have, how skilled you are, and that's a very important thing to have. You're hitting your free throws again. I like it. What we got going on right here? Okay, working on defense. Okay, again, transition. Cover a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Punch that A. Okay, we are right now. We see bounce. It's easy to see that you're long, you're athletic. I love this sweep through. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, okay. Knock down these free throws then. Cash. Long, athletic. 6'6. Six, six. You were able to cover a lot of ground in a short amount of time. You got a good mechanics, but now I need to see a jump shot. I got to see some type of, well, what do we have here? Okay, coming off the screen, catch. Good distance away, pull up, cash. I like that. I like that right there, Leland. I love it, actually. I love it. Give it to him again. Give it to him again. Pump fake. All right, cool. Step back. Cash. Okay, but you, oh, okay, okay. So you're shooting free throws again. It's always just good to just show a, a very well round basketball game. You don't see that often, especially people at your height and size. Okay, transition, punch that. Good finish, good finish. At least you finished it. I'm not mad, but you should be punching everything. You should be punching everything. Okay, kick it, back, go through, A, and one. Oh man, you missed it again, but we're show, shooting free throws, shooting free throws. You know, what's really weird about this is the fact that this is all one game. Like, I'm watching a highlight tape, and this is all one game. I think, actually, I looked up the, the stats for this game. You had, like, 40 in this game. Okay, pump fake. Good flow, good flow, and the lower euro with it. That's good touch. Good mid-range touch at 6'6". Six, six. You can't really teach that. Ooh, come off the screen again. Cash. Oh, man. For a second, I wasn't sure you was going to make that and then go back to the free throw line, but you cashed that eye. I love it. Okay, attack the rim. Attack the glass. Good tipping, good tipping. Where are we at? Where are we at? We're in transition again. Show me the length. Show me the length. Way to go get that. Go get that. Ooh. Long as hell, boy. This is ridiculous. Where we at? Okay. Catch. Cash again. Okay. I've seen enough to know that you have a very good jump shot. Very good jump shot. Okay. My man over here doing some N1 mixtape stuff. Don't pass it. Okay. Got back. Get back in the play. Get back in the play. Go do something. Hey! Okay. Okay. Miss it. Good. Yo. So... Oh man, we're, we're, we're gonna come back and talk about that. We're gonna come back and talk about that. Good flow, good flow. Tough bucket, boy, tough bucket. All right, we're in transition. We're in transition, punch that. Oh, he lost the ball, but he finished the layup, so I'm not gonna be mad at you. I'm not gonna be mad. All right, we're getting the ball. Bring it up court, bring it up court. All right, all right. Go by him, go by him. Go by him. Go work, go work. Okay, they call a foul. They call a foul. Okay, we shooting free throws again. Cash that out. Cash. Free throws again. Cash. Tough. Tough. First of all, Leland, I will say that you're definitely a Division One basketball player. And to me, just looking at this highlight tape further proves that for me. At 6'6", six, six, you are long, you are athletic, you are fast, you are agile, and you have the mechanics of a beautiful textbook jump shot. 
beautiful. You show range on your jump shot. You show that you can hit free throws. I think it showed that you hit like 71% of your free throws for the season in 29 games. That's really good. And shooting 30% from the three-point line when you're almost averaging about six attempts a game. That's really, really good. Stats mean a lot sometimes, not necessarily in how many points you get or how high your percentage is, but how high is your percentage based on how many shots you're taking. Leland already covers that. Absolutely beautiful. What I really, really love is in that one play that we said we'll come back to. You got off the ground, got back into the play, and you were able to catch it off the rim and try to punch it back in. You missed it and got back up to go for a second jump before anybody else had came down from their first jump. Those are the little things that a lot of basketball players don't really notice and even a lot of coaches don't know is how quick somebody is off of their feet. That shows the signs of a very freak athlete. Um, as they say, fast twitch athlete, fast twitch muscles. You have that. That's something that even I wasn't very big on when I was playing basketball, but you show that. The little things like that really make a difference. What I really also love is you, you mixed it up. You had some floaters, you had some mid-ranges, you even try to throw it and shoot it over the backboard and knock it in. And just those little things like that really, really show skill. They show a high level of skill and that's what you have to have if you plan on making it to the next level of basketball. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what your background is. If you wanna play high level basketball, you have to be a skilled basketball player. Unless you're seven feet tall, all you have to do is know how to walk and chew gum. With all that being said, Leland, what I would say are the things you're gonna have to work on to really solidify yourself as being a mid-major to maybe even high major division one athlete one day is first of all, you have to get bigger. You look like you're about 6'6 to 6'7 and you look like you might be about 185, a buck 85 in a soaking wet shirt. That's not gonna cut it at the next level. You have to get bigger. You're gonna have to be able to put on anywhere between I would say 10 to maybe 15 pounds of muscles. If you can get somewhere around 205, 207, 210, then that's really gonna be a great weight for you. You don't wanna necessarily get stocky to where you know, you're know you slow and you're losing your quickness and your athleticism and all that kind of stuff, but you have to have some armor on you. You have to use your muscle and treat it like it's the armor that's gonna protect your body. You wanna be able to bump people offensively as well as defensively. A lot of players really downplay how important the weight room is and it shows in their game because you have a lot of tall, very lanky, athletic people like you and people like Khalil and so on and so forth and you're skilled, you're good to go when it comes to a skill level perspective, but your body is what could definitely hold you back. You can't play with a mean streak like you need to play and dominate the way you want to if you do not have the body and the physicality to back that up. Not saying that you gotta be PJ Tucker, but you gotta at least have KD type strength where even though you might look long and wiry, you still have that strength to where you can do what you want to people whenever and however and as long as you want to. Next thing I would say is I would love to see more of a mid-range jump shot from you. I think that you need to work on being even more of a three level score. A lot of times it seems like you were getting to the rim or you were shooting the three from long distance which I absolutely love because I cannot stand watching people shoot threes right at the three point line especially when it's in college because you won't shoot that at the next level being the NBA or wherever it is you choose to go even the overseas line is slightly longer than the college line. But when you weren't shooting threes and you weren't doing layups or floaters you really didn't have anything else. At the next level, next level being four year college, you're gonna have a lot of long athletic defenders who are gonna be able to get up there and block a lot of those floaters or at least contest them. To go ahead and kill that without having too many issues, I would definitely tell you you have to work on that nice 17 footer, nice pull up, stop and pop, one dribble pull ups, two dribble pull ups, that's really gonna help you a whole lot. And because you're already so athletic and so tall and so long, you will be able to shoot over a lot of defenders in that mid range game, especially if you play your true position, which is the shooting guard. What I will also say, which is kind of outside of your game of basketball, wherever you go to play at, next year or two years from now, you need to play the shooting guard. You do not need to play the three. You do not need to play small ball four or stretch four. You do not have the body for that and you do not have the game for that. You are a skilled wing who can shoot the ball at a high level and create shots for himself. You need to play that real two guard position and at the very least, you need to be somebody who's running off of screens and who is hitting jump shots, somebody who is setting picks and pops. You need to be moving constantly, getting out in transition, 
running hard, getting into the corner, spotting up and hitting threes, or running on the break and catching alley-oops. That is where your game is at your best. But as you continue to work on your mid-range game, you can become a more well-rounded three-level scorer. What I will also say you're going to have to work on is your handle. Throughout this entire highlight tape, I only saw you dribbling the ball when you were getting ready to make a move and go to the rim. You looked a little shaky when you were bringing the ball full court. You only had the ball in your right hand. You seem scared to cross it over and bring it to your left and change directions, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because you use your body to at least hold the defender off. But what would have messed you up even more is if somebody would have came over and just stopped you right on that baseline where now you're in the dead man's corner right at that half court line and now you got to pick your dribble up. You have to get comfortable with being able to cross the ball over and change directions and break your man down. Otherwise, you are going to be a one dimensional basketball player who can only drive to the rim or be wide open and try to hit spot up threes. And that is not going to help you long term. You have to be as much of a well-rounded skilled basketball player as possible. So please continue to work on your handle. And that's all I got. Leland, you are definitely a Division One basketball player. I truly believe that. I think that you have the potential to be a good mid-major Division One basketball player playing somewhere in the OVC, somewhere in the, in the NEC, a lot of really good college programs like that. I think that you have the skill. I think that you have the athleticism. I think right now at this very moment, you have everything you need to play Division One basketball, but you need to continue to work on your game. You need to continue to send out film. You need to continue to do whatever you have to do to get coaches to realize who and what you are because you are a diamond in the rough. You are a gym that is waiting to be found. And I think that once you are found and you are appreciated the way that you need to be appreciated, you're gonna skyrocket, you're gonna go through the roof and a lot of people are gonna talk about how they wish they would have had the opportunity to have you but they passed you up because of whatever reason they want to come up with. So make sure that y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram at hoop underscore politics. Twitter is the exact same. And always remember, God's always in control. Peace.